And while the cost of everyday items remains high, measures to solve the problem could be on hold with the banking industry crisis going on right now. Although inflation rates fell for the eighth straight month in February, we might still deal with higher numbers than we're used to. News 6's Lauren Cervantes joins us live with what economic impact could mean for you. I spoke with a certified financial planner who tells me the year-over-year -year impact uh, drop on CPI rather is almost too small for people to really feel that impact on their wallets. The consumer price index, which is widely seen as the gauge for inflation, rose 0.4% in February. But when you look at the year-over-year -year numbers, it dropped from 6.4% to 6%, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. CPI measures the average change in prices of goods and services for the consumer. The big reason many people are watching the CPI is to see how the change would affect the Fed possibly raising the interest rates yet again. Less than half a percent decline, no, no feeling whatsoever. This will have little to no impact on people's attitudes, apprehension, or spending. Nancy Hecht, a certified financial planner, says it's a change in numbers so slight that people will likely not even notice it in their day-to-day -day spending. It's not enough of a decline from time to time to have an impact that's positive on anybody's pocket. I mean, all you hear people talking about is how much everything is. The report from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics says the food index increased 0.4 percent in February. And I know people, you know, young families that are making what I would think to be an extremely nice income that because of the prices consider themselves working poor, you know, and, they, and they're trying to shop discount and shop bulk just to try and save money wherever they can at the grocery store. Hecht says it's going to take a big decline in CPI and the inflation rate for people to feel more comfortable. Well, I think if um, inflation went down one and a half to two percent, people would really start feeling like they can breathe. Heck did have some advice for people when it comes to spending. She says you should really consider if it's a need or a want and consider finding it somewhere else cheaper than maybe just going to your immediate neighborhood store. She says while you can't control some of these numbers, you can control your household outflow. For now in Orlando, I'm Lauren Cervantes getting results. News 6.